Do you or somebody in your family take medicines for cholesterol? Well, there's a new study out that I think is very important that you need to hear about. Stick around. The study I'm talking about, uh, I'll link below, but is a study in the Journal of Nuclear Medicine on approximately 300 patients who have mild cognitive impairment. Now, this study is from the Alzheimer's Disease Neuro Neuroimaging Initiative, which is a study that's been going on since the early 2000s, studying elderly patients to try to determine um, the cause and progression of Alzheimer's disease or dementia. Now, uh, the study uh, breaks them down into groups of normal elderly, of those with mild cognitive impairment, uh, or those with full-blown Alzheimer's disease and dementia. And they're studied uh, not only with cognitive testing, but with what they call biomarkers, uh, which is blood tests, uh, various types of MRIs, PET scans, neuroimaging to see if they can de determine what the cause and the progression of Alzheimer's disease. So in this particular case, a subset of, of the group was studied uh, for those with uh, what they considered early, mild cognitive impairment. And they looked uh, at their cholesterol uh, levels and they looked at whether or not they were on statin therapy and if so, which statin therapy. And over eight years, uh, something shocking really was found. Um, they found that uh, of those taking uh, what's called lipophilic statin drugs, that uh, they were two and a half times more likely to develop dementia or progress to dementia uh, if they were in the ones that started out with mild cognitive impairment. You see in the conclusion that among subjects with early mild cognitive impairment that the lipophilic statin use was associated with more than double the risk of converting to dementia over the eight years of follow-up in this study. It's highly significant and so if it's something that affects somebody in your family, please let them know about this. Have them watch this video. Have them talk to their doctor. I'm not recommending that they just stop any therapy, but certainly a conversation with a doctor would be warranted. Again, I'm not recommending that you stop any treatment, but just be aware that uh, this is something that you should talk to your doctor about. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this is uh, beneficial to you.